hey guys welcome back to my channel today I am gonna do a video all about health and wellness I want to talk to you guys about some of the things that I do in my own life that really help me stay on track when it comes to fitness um, eating well and just feeling good in my own body and with summer just around the corner I thought it would be the perfect time to do this video because I know that the motivation is extra high during the summertime and it's been quite a while since I've done like a dedicated kind of chit chat video about health and wellness apart from like my what I ate today's um, and as much as I love makeup and fashion and beauty I love to talk about health and wellness it's one of my biggest passions I really hope that some of you guys will find some inspiration through this video I'm not an expert I'm not a professional I just want to share what works for me and maybe some of you guys will find it helpful and can adapt it into your own lifestyle so I'm super excited to be doing this video and let's just dive right in with the first thing that I love to do and that really helps me out especially lately and that is to wake up early and have time in the morning for a lot of us we wake up and we just kind of rush to get ready and we start the day but something that I notice that's been working really well for me is when I get up earlier than I need to and I have some time in the morning to properly wake up and to do my little routine or my little ritual which definitely includes making myself a little morning drink or like my morning detox water you guys have seen me do that in all of my what I ate today's and recently I've actually been doing something a bit different I've been making a morning like a green smoothie in the morning and it is so amazing so delicious and it just really makes me feel so good first thing in the morning I'm actually gonna insert a clip right now to show you guys how I've been making the smoothie but I, I pretty much stuff my whole blender with lots of spinach sometimes I will add kale as well I will add in the juice of one lemon and sometimes one lime depending on what I have in my kitchen I add ginger frozen mango an apple and then I top it off with lots of coconut water or some fresh water sometimes I mix them I will then blend that up and you guys it is so amazing it's so delicious but it's so packed with antioxidants with vitamins and minerals and you drink that first thing in the morning you feel amazing I will still go on and have my breakfast a little bit later on but I have been loving doing that for the last few weeks so I wake up early so that I have time to make my smoothie and then whilst I'm drinking that I like to plan out my day this is another benefit of waking up a little bit earlier is that you can really set your intentions for the day whether it's it's work related or personal related I also plan out if I'm gonna do a workout that day um, maybe what meals I'm gonna have if I need to go to the grocery store planning out my day like this is one of the biggest things that I think really helps me in terms of staying focused with both my work with my personal life with exercising so starting the day on a positive note with the right foot I think that that is something that really helps me and just keeps me wanting to do more good things in the day. It's a pretty simple thing, but I think it can make a world of difference. So moving on to the second tip or the second thing that I like to do for myself, and that is to work out in classes or in like group settings at my gym. Gym memberships can definitely be expensive, but I do think that they are worth it if the classes are good. I don't think I would be in the shape that I am right now if I didn't have classes um, um, to work out with or to work out too. <laughs> I just love how classes can really push you and just like make you do different things than you would do by yourself. And I think it just keeps it more fun and motivating when you have a group of people around you to also kind of motivate you. And some of my favorite classes are Body Pump, which uses mostly weights. I don't use the heaviest of weights, especially on my upper body. I do like to go a little bit heavier on my lower body because it really does tone up your legs tone up your bum and I love to mix that in with some cardio classes or just I do cardio on my own I also really love spinning classes which is like the biking classes where you sweat like crazy I think classes can just be so motivating because you know sometimes maybe you're not like a hundred percent motivated to work out and if you were to do it on your own maybe you would do you know well, I would do like a little bit of uphill walking maybe some running but if I make that intention to go to that class get 
give it my all, I will. And you just get such a better workout. And if you're totally new to working out, I would recommend to get a personal trainer. This is something else that can be a little bit expensive, but I see it as such a good investment. When I was about 16 or 17 years old, I think I was 16, I got a personal trainer and it was one of the best things that I think I could have done for my health at that time. You really get that one-on-one -on -one attention from somebody who is professional, who is trained, and can really help you learn about your body, learn about exercise, learn about different you know, techniques and methods of working out to really suit you and your needs. A personal trainer will also teach you about having the right form when you're doing certain exercises and movements so that you learn how to not hurt yourself during a workout. And for me, that was such a good learning experience and something that I value so much. Even to this day, I think about some of the things that she taught me and it like, it stays with me for life. And I don't think it's necessary to have a trainer for your whole life, I mean, you could if you wanted to, but just to have like a good year or two years or even like six months with somebody to really teach you about your body and how to work out if you are new to exercising, for example, I think that is like priceless. With that said, I think just getting in daily movement is so important. So even if I'm not going to the gym, I try to get in the exercise where I can. Every step counts, every bit of movement counts. So if I see some stairs next to an escalator, I always try to take the stairs. I also don't mind parking my car a little bit further away from where I need to be so that I can get in a little bit of a walk before I have to be at my appointment or the shop that I'm going to. I don't mind that walk. Um, if it's raining, maybe not, but if it's nice weather and I have some time, I will park my car a little bit further away so that I have, you know, some time to walk. And also I recently got a bike that I have been loving. I showed that on my Instagram stories. I think it was like two weeks ago or so. And pretty much every day that it's been sunny, I've been taking out my bike and biking into the city rather than driving. It takes me about 20 minutes to bike in and 20 minutes to bike home. So you get about 40 minutes of biking like for free. Moving on to the third tip or the third thing that I do and that is to make sure that I keep myself super super hydrated. We all know how important drinking water is. I'm sure you guys have heard it a million times over but it's so true and it really does make a difference in how my body feels, how my skin does, how my hair looks. Keeping hydrated is one of the best things that you can do for your body and for your beauty. Allowing all those skin cells to stay nice and plump and hydrated, I think it's so, so beneficial. And also to maintain a healthy weight because when you keep yourself hydrated, your metabolism works better and faster. So I make sure to drink a lot of water throughout the day and sometimes I will make myself this like fruit infused water that I've I think I've also shown you guys on my Instagram stories it really does make drinking water so much more fun and it does give it a nice little fruity flavor that's of course completely natural I do also like to squeeze in a little bit of lemon juice um, into the water to get some extra vitamin C which is again really great for your skin and for collagen production so moving on to the fourth thing that really helps me that is to actually learn how food and exercise affect Affects your body. We all know that eating well and exercising regularly, it does allow our body to have a nice shape and figure. It does make us feel good, but there's a lot of science behind it. And I think if we actually learn why certain food has an effect on our body and how it like interacts with our system, I think it gives us an extra motivation to actually choose better food options because we have that respect for our body. And we know like if I eat this thing, that's gonna happen in my body. But if I eat this thing, it's gonna you know, make something positive. It gives you a greater appreciation of food. And as I mentioned, that love and respect that you have for your body, I think you want to keep nurturing that with healthy food choices. I will leave a few links down below in the description box of some books that I really like and some YouTube channels that I watch that have been really helpful to me and just learning about food and again, how it affects the body. With that said, there's a lot of different types of information out there and I've had my fair share of like trying different diets and different things throughout the years. I think now I'm at a really good place. I feel like I'm very happy with my lifestyle and my food choices. I love learning about food, so naturally I've come across different types of diets. Not that I 
try all the diets, but I like to read about them and just you know, understand them. But on a quick little side note, what works for me is a predominantly plant-based diet. So most of what I eat are plants, like, you know, what grows naturally from the earth, and that's what makes me feel at my best. Eating that way works really well for me, but that's not to say that it's for everyone, and I think we're all slightly different. So you have to find what works for you and your body and your lifestyle. Maybe do a little bit of experimentation and just like reflection on, you know, how the food is affecting you. One of the underlying similarities between all the diets, even though they are very, very different, is the importance of vegetables. And vegetables, especially leafy greens, are life, like literally life. I try to eat those every single day. They are so good for your body, for your digestive system, for your skin. If you want healthy, glowing, clear skin, eat lots of greens, lots of vegetables. They reduce the inflammation in your body, which then in turn helps with your skin. If you eat well, you will have more energy. You'll be at lower risk for different diseases. You will live longer. You will most likely live a happier life. You'll be at a healthy weight. So there are just lots and lots of positive things to a healthy diet, but I think Taking it back to the main point, learning about how food affects your body, getting yourself educated, I think is so, so important. And the last tip that I wanna share with you guys, which is again, something that I find really, really helpful and motivating to myself, that is to keep lots of inspiration around me. And I mean that in my home, I mean it on my phone. For example, I love to have lots of good, healthy um, cookbooks in my kitchen that I can reference or that I can look to for inspiration. These are some of my favorites. So here I have the Oh She Glows Every Day from Angela Lydon. There are lots of great recipes in here that are very healthy and easy. I also love the Thrive Energy book from Brendan Bratzier, I think that's how you say it. Again, lots of great information and inspiration and ideas. Another great one is Vegan Bowls for Vegan Souls. This is so cute. These are actually real um, coconut bowls like made from coconut shells. And then the newest addition to my little cookbook section is this one right here. This is the Plant Power Way Italia. This is a cookbook written by Rich Roll and his wife, Julie. Rich Roll has a really great podcast which is focused on health and exercise and running, especially he's an ultra marathon runner and he interviews really great, interesting people and I've learned so, so much from listening to his podcast. I actually got two of these books and one of them is for you guys so I will be doing a little giveaway within this video for this book you can check the description box down below um, for information on how to enter to win this book so definitely keep that inspiration around you and cooking books for me is something that I love I love books in general I have a lot of like coffee table books as decoration even and a book like this is beautiful to look at but also has so many great recipe ideas and just information I also love to follow certain food and health accounts on Instagram which also keeps me motivated and it's so nice to just be scrolling on Instagram and then you get this beautiful picture of an amazing salad or amazing like veggie bowl or Buddha bowl and it really does inspire me to just say okay I'm gonna make that tomorrow so just try to really like infuse your space um, where you spend a lot of time just try to um, make that as positive and inspiring as possible I think that's like a good like constant reminder so those are all of the tips that I wanted to mention in this video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed and maybe got some inspiration. Maybe you've heard some of these things before, but you know, sometimes it's good to just get a little refresher. I would love to hear from you guys. I would love to know if there's something that you do or something, you know, that really helps you in your day-to-day -day life to stay positive and on track and motivated and um, please let me know below in the comments i would love to read that let me know if you guys enjoyed this type of health and wellness chat type of a video and i can definitely do more as always you can find me on my instagram it's at annie jaffrey i'll also make sure to have a link for that down below thank you guys so much for watching i hope that you're all having an amazing day and i will see you guys very soon bye guys <laughs>